All right, early good morning for me. Um, Liquid just lost to EG. I'd like to say boo. I wish Liquid would have won because I really wanted a, a Liquid OG final. We might get an OG EG final, which I'm sure you're hyped about with, but I can't take the stress on that situation. We have a new character out called the Grim Stroke. I'll paint this world as I see fit. And uh, he looks like an oak, orc, scary, magic looking guy with a stick. He's got his first ability, Stroke of Fate. It's a movement slow, 50%, level 1, really good, gets up to 80%. It lasts 2 seconds, looks super, super, super useful. It does a nuke of 120 damage per or, um, on each character hit. It does bonus damage per target, so the more you put in there, the stronger the nuke is. It looks super, 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 super useful, good. I assume this guy's actually going to be more of a support. Uh, next we got Phantom's Embrace. It's a latch duration. He shoots a little spirit, goes and then haunts you and keeps attacking you. You can destroy it in two or three attacks. It does a certain amount of damage per second. It's not very strong, but annoying. Once it hits its timeout, if you let it attack you too, it's, uh, until it's, it's done, it basically does a bunch of damage to you and then refreshes its uh, cooldown so you can reapply it. So somebody's stunned or locked down. You guys can do a lot of damage really quickly to a single uh, unit. This is definitely sets up for all kinds of team fun things, both these spells. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. And then we got Inkswell. This is a really interesting, fun looking ability. Definitely uh, teamwork um, based. Because it looks like you apply it to the bear, you apply it to an ally, you can apply it to a creep. So anything, any type of unit you got controlled, any type of ally who runs and then can be tanky, basically they get a movement speed bonus and 28 to 40% based on the level. And they come in and they start doing damage to everyone around. They just kind of bleed out damage, 55, 70, 85, 100. And then they kind of pop. And if they're around whoever you're chasing, which is it's a great chasing tool to chase people down, they will be stunned for starting 2.2 seconds to um, up to 4 and the tendril damage is like a um, it's like a damage per second that just kind of bleeds out of you so I guess I don't know what the difference between the base and the max damage is it might be how close you are to a unit let me read that Apply damage done in area of the unit in proportion to how much ink tendril damage was inflicted across the duration Okay, so damage per second um, gets the longer you ink them, the more max damage you do. So the longer you chase them down, it looks super fun. You just run at a person with this, run it into a team fight. You put your put it on the bear, like I said, or any controlled creep. Oh, so much fun team fight. Soulbind, kind of a weird wonky spell. Maybe very good, maybe very bad. It's uh, it's your ult, duration four to six to eight seconds. You latch it to someone. They have to be within a, a five hundred radius of your other unit, and your um, it just levels up cast range, so on and so on. And then that unit, it can't go acts, it can't leave that bubble. It can move with inside that bubble. It's slowed, but it can't leave that latch. It can maybe be force staffed out. I haven't got to try this yet. I assume there's just ways to pull people out. You can probably, I think force staff might be the only way. I don't think you could, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you could blank out. You might be able to blank out of it too. Somebody will have to tell me if that works. And any um, targeted spell, the damage is, is applied to both. I don't know if a silence is. Hold on, binds target to nearest ally, prevent both from moving away. You target a target spell that either bound here or receives also gets cast on the hero. So I guess like if you silence the one unit with a target spell, not an area effect spell, and uh, you hit it, and the other one will get silenced or the other one will get stunned. So uh, chaining, setting up um, multiple things it looks very useful. It only does one hero in the group. It doesn't do a bunch if they're all there, and it does the closest. So that's the summary. I'm gonna, if you wanna stay around just a hair bit longer, I'm gonna kinda spam the spells for you to see. If not, enjoy your day, enjoy the TI, go Augs. Here we go.
All right, so I'm just going to spam the spells, and then I'm going to do some unique tests oh, after I go. No. So here we go, Stroke of Fate. I'm going to try to hit as many of these axes as possible. Kind of go in between to see how wide of a range I get. All right, I expected to hit all three, didn't it? Fine. So, uh, that's friendly nuke. They're level 25 axes right now, so they're not going to take um, too much damage. I'm not going to level up any of the talents, so you can see what the scales are maxed. And then we got Phantom's Embrace. This is um, a fun, odd little spell here. So he's just... It just attacks. And if he does nothing, comes back, it's refreshed. With dripping and it does a lot more damage. Now I'm going to do it again. Steady so he destroys it. It doesn't do its pop. My cooldown's still... Uh, it's still extended. Still a uh, pretty large cooldown, 20 seconds but a uh, pretty useful swell or spell. Now I got Ink Swell, which is really interesting. So I can apply this to me or any controlled unit. So then I'm running at people. I can't attack or anything, but looks really good initiation. Yes. Towards, uh, you put it on a teammate, they blink in, they get on top, you put it on an axe. Oh goodness, because I assume if they still attack axe, they'll still spin. Super looks so fun to do with an axe. And then Soulbind. I'm going to just show you the setup and then I'm going to test a couple things on it first. So here we go. So I Soulbind this unit. And then this guy is trying to. He cannot run any farther away than that little realm right there. I assume a four staff and stuff will put him out. Effortlessly. Let me go see this guy. Hey, come back. Axe. Alright. Yes. Oops. Leave my thing alone. Oh, this will be good. You get to see a full level of this, but it does do it. Hmm. Kinda... Looks like you'll have to be more careful with the target. I don't know if you hit a full wave unless you line them up and Nothing give them to chase wasted. you a little bit. So I'm gonna do another soul bind here. And... I'm gonna do this. I guess... I'm not going to do that much damage, um, but I think if I do Refresh, if I do a Soulbind, and then if I do an Ink Swell, they'll do some Ness, or a Phantom's Embrace to one, it'll do it to the other. So here we go, Soulbind, there we go, they both got Spirits nuking on them. That's fun, let's do another one. We'll do a soul bind and then I'll do an ink swell. I don't think that'll work to damage the other guy. I think it only did it because I was close. Alright, here goes some fun test now. I'm gonna do a soul bind to these two guys. And then I'm going to zap one with the dagon, thinking they'll both get hit by a level five dagon. Oh yeah, and silence, super, super good. Let me refresh this, and then we're gonna do the four staff test to see if that breaks the soul bind. I'm gonna four staff one of these guys away from the other, make sure he's looking at me, and then here we go. Okay. I paint my way. Looks like, hmm. yeah. Okay, the link was broke. So four staff, maybe a blink will get out of it. You guys will have to test that one and let me know. As if it's like a fun story. hero. I'm signing out. Um, go OG, go OG. Uh, good luck. Enjoy the rest of the TI. I think I'm gonna go back to bed until that starts. Enjoy your weekend.